What's up, everybody, man? Hey, it's been like two months since we put that video. When the Lace Babies were born was the last video. Man, hey, it has been insane here at the house. Um, but I told you one thing. I told you I would take you from the beginning to the end with these blood python babies. So let's start off at... June 3rd. Let's go. Alright, before we go too far into this, um, before we go to June 3rd, man, it has taken me so long to make this specific video. It's absolutely insane. Uh, I mean, it's insane. Uh, this what you're about to see was made actually about three weeks ago um if not maybe a little longer we actually all got fucking covid man um we think oliver brought it home from the school you know out of like seven eight kids in his class three of them uh now four of them have had covid or are out with covid um, you know, Tennessee is not offering any sort of virtual schooling, so the, the cases are the cases of COVID are just outrageous, you know. And I'm not here to get in any type of a political debate. I could really give a fuck less, you know, to be honest. But uh, we all had really mild-ish um, symptoms, if anything. So I wanted to explain that to you because I had planned on this son of a bitch being out weeks ago. Also, you're gonna see some animals in this video that in the when I was editing this, I totally forgot to explain it to you. Um, the okay, let me start out right. A very good friend, a person who has become a very good friend, her name is Alexa. I will totally demolish her last name, so I'm not going to try it. Uh, I'm not going to try it. Anyway, she reached out to me and said that she had actually produced the sire, the VPI Stripe. Um, turns out, he came from a VPI Super Stripe T positive albino. So he himself is 100% het albino. Um, Ryan may have told me that when I bought it, you know, a year or so ago. Um, and I just didn't pay attention to it, but I swear I didn't know when I paired these. She watched the video, reached out to me and was like, hey, you know, I saw you were excited about some hets. Um, but, uh, Guess what? You're gonna get some visuals and dude, that just felt so good. She didn't have to reach out and tell me that, you know. Um, she's become a really good friend. But uh, just kind of wanted to explain where we, where we are, what's going on. Everybody's healthy. We're still in quarantine because unfortunately Oliver got tested later than we did. Um, his first initial test was negative, then we went and had a PDR test done, which is a lab test, and he came back positive. So, um, hope everybody's safe. I'm going to let you kind of continue watching the video. I just felt like I needed to explain what's been going on. Um, I'm still posting a little bit, doing lives every once in a while, only for, you know, special occasions, but, um... Yeah, we're, we're, we're still kicking it, man. We're, we're still here. The coronavirus didn't kill the Appalachians yet. So, um, yeah, that, and also that's why you're going to see some visuals in this. Now, one thing I am going to do is I'm going to show you the animal that Zach Green picked twice. Actually, because she has shed, she's been here so long. She's already had her first shed. So I'm going to show you the first video clip that I recorded, then I'm going to show you a new one that we're going to record right now of how she looks after her first shed. And you'll see, man, they just continue to get better with age. Blood pythons and age, you can't go wrong with it. So I hope you guys enjoy it, man. I'll, I'll shut up. Back to June 3rd.
Fuck. Is that not beautiful? I mean, God, talk about, you know, at that point, I really felt like, oh, it's all come, my dreams are coming true, whatever, you know? Um, they had pit on, uh, like I said, June 3rd. Um, and so usually with blood pythons, you wait two to three weeks before you offer them their first meal. Um, and I did, did that, you know, um, and like, Four, five of them ate instantly. And I reached out to everybody and I was like, five of them ate, you know? And everybody was like, my God, that's great odds, you know? And I felt so good. Um, and, you know, those five are still eating regularly. Um, there's been one that has started to eat, you know, so it's... Uh, it's not a lie at all. Sometimes it can be tricky getting blood python babies to eat. I, I have learned that. So um, what I wanted to do was make a video real quick and show you guys a couple of the babies that are flourishing. Um, a couple of them are getting ready to leave. Uh, my buddy is Zach Green, who uh, sent me this cool package we'll talk about here in a minute. Uh, he, he's getting one. Um, we're gonna show her off. I've got a couple others that are already sold, um, one that's available. So yeah, man, let's jump right into it and let me show you guys these babies. Now, what I will explain is the reason I'm showing you the ones that are thriving is because it just so happens that the day I'm recording this tonight, we're, we're doing weekly feeding trials with them. Um, they've had live, my, live rat, rat, pinkies offered they've had live rat pups offered because sometimes they enjoy a, a bigger meal they enjoy um they've had asfs offered so we've tried frozen thawed uh mice hoppers from cold blood cafe get all your shit from them um and frozen thawed pups you know so we're trying different things so what i did with these guys and you'll see is i set them up on um sphagnum moss instantly you know um so that was that, that way they could hide they could do whatever so if you're a ball python guy and you're watching this you know that sometimes you can switch up a, a, a finicky eater's tub and he may eat they may eat you know so um, I was uh, talking with a buddy, you know, uh, Rich Crowley, who we've got a video coming of something he just sent us that's amazing. Uh, shout out to Rich. If you guys don't know Rich, go check out Rich Crowley Reptiles um, R&D Exotics, I think is what it's called. Got it. The man literally wrote a book. You can contact him and buy it. Um, anyway, long story short, um, we decided, we, like they're everybody's, I decided to take them off sphagnum moss, sphagnum moss, doesn't that sound weird? So that anyway, the moss, sh 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 sphagnum moss, weird fucking word, um, and, oh, it didn't even hit the camera, that's what's up. Anyway, so we put them on some paper towels with a hide. Um, I haven't pulled them out, but to check their water, just barely, I'm trying to leave them alone as much as possible. They're in the darkest part of the room. I know you guys probably can't obviously see behind this, but this rack goes all the way down to the floor and they're in the bottom. Ball pythons are up here and they're doing great. There's actually a couple of them that are, that are available that, uh, you know, maybe here in a little bit we can show you those. But again, I don't want you to think I'm not showing you the ones that haven't eaten um, because of the, oh, I don't want you to see a skinny snake or I'm worried somebody's going to say something. You know, if y'all know me, man, y'all know I don't give a fuck anyway. Um, I'll show you the damn things, but it might have to be in two or three days after we try to feed them today. Because that's the whole reason, honestly, it's taken me this long to make this video. Is because I care more about getting these fucking things to eat than I do making this video. Uh, while I love and appreciate 
everyone. By the way, we're almost 900 subscribers. <laughs> That's crazy. 895, 896, whatever, man. That's insane. Thank all of you. And I'm sorry it's taken me so long to make a video. Um, you know, I'll explain all that here in a little bit, but there's been some issues with the house we live in. We found some mold downstairs. Um, I'm obviously growing out of this room and Liam is growing out of the room that him and Oliver are sharing. So it's a conundrum of shit. Um, but let's look at some beautiful blood pythons because I promised you guys I would do that. Sorry, I'm blabbering. <laughs> you know I do that. So let's look at these babies, all right? All right, guys, so if we're going to start off, let's start it off right. We got Ollie in here with us. What do you think about this one, buddy? This is a beautiful T-positive albino blood pythons. Dude! I'm just kidding. I told him to say that. But it is a T-pause. Um, probably a Matrix. I know the next one is a Matrix. Don't mind Rosie and Sarah in there. They fight like two sisters, regardless of when you ask them to be quiet. But that doesn't matter because look how pretty that girl is. You picked good, Zach. She is going to be amazing. Again, I think that's a T positive matrix, but it's hard to see. Oh! Never mind. That was an idiot moment. <laughs> I saw her pink tongue and I was like, oh, she is a matrix. All albinos have pink tongue, you moron. Daddy's a daddy's a goober. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. All right. So let's get this girl up and get on to the next one. All right, guys. So this is Zach's after its first shed. Now... This has always been a pretty chill snake. So not only is he getting an insanely chill snake that's gonna be beautiful. Look at that neck, man. Eats like a champ. Beautiful female. I wish there was a way I could get her to show you that neck. But I just wanted to show you the difference after that first shed because it just means so much and you'll never be able to pick up the pinks in that head on camera unfortunate as that is all right <clears throat> we actually have another one that has shed so let's grab that one first i'll let you look at it prior to all right on to the second one now this is a boy uh tracy actually id this as a t pause matrix so she knows probably better than i do so that's what i'm going as um it was bought already from a dude who's been down since the beginning and i'm so glad it's getting one of these babies um especially one as nice as as he is um he's actually the only one that's ever took a chunk out of me so far whenever we were trying to get glamour shots outside so but nate man you picked you picked killer on this one dude good job so let's look at a couple more all right and like i said they've been here so long they've literally had their first sheds so this is the snake you just saw that is definitely the t pause matrix it's a male going to nate and <clears throat> this is the one that actually popped me when i was outside getting good outside pictures of it for him but just wanted to show you guys that man that's what that looks like after its first shed look at the purple on that tail you see that beautiful snake god nathan man Woo. 
So, just wanted to show you guys how different that can change. <clears throat> Excuse me. In that first shed alone. I mean, B is so orange that that's what she throws. She will probably always throw just beautiful orange babies. So, that's how they look whenever they have had their first shed. And they just get better. All right, you guys. So, this one is actually one of the normals het T positive from the clutch just took an enormous dump and that's good because it's getting ready to get put into a box and be shipped to another one of the subscribers another viewer of the channel a guy named matt weil wheel wheel i hope i said that right bro anyway I'm sure this this dude's gonna be in great hands if that's not the coolest pattern for a normal and all oh, that's gonna be nice crazy red ollie you see that brown right there how brown that is once that once this gets to be an adult that's gonna be maroon isn't that cool it is a beautiful baby Super stoked on this dude. So, but he's getting ready to fly tonight, guys. So, that's a normal from quality, quality VPI lineage there, man. Another great baby. Alright, guys. Now, this is the girl that's available. She is a... We'll get her down. She's a little feisty for sure. But, oof, there you go, mama. She is a VPI stripe matrix. That's, that's the only female that's left. But again, you know, it'll, it'll take some, it'll take some, uh, some work, but it's workable, you know. She's a, excellent example of what the what the animal should look like i mean the sides that crazy little m her head beautiful beautiful so oh man sucks you can't keep them all right ollie He just thinks they're all beautiful. But that one. Woo. Anyway, she's available, guys. So don't miss out on that. All right, guys. So and here she is. This is what would be my holdback female. Mainly because, like I said, she has somewhat of sentimental value besides the fact of how amazing she is. This is a VPI stripe matrix 100% head T-Paws they all are 100% head T-Paws but man you look good mama so but yeah um Zach actually saved this this girl's life because I thought the egg was getting moldy and didn't want it to get on the rest of them. And he was like, no nah, man, give it time, give it time. And turned out to be this beautiful girl. So, she'll stay here. So, what do you think, Oliver? You just think they're all beautiful? <laughs> all right, man. Well, let's get out of here. We gotta, we gotta get some snakes to FedEx, buddy. So. All right. So, I think the last one that I showed you um, is probably gonna be one I keep. You know, it has somewhat of a sentimental story, uh, which re relates back to me being an idiot and learning a lesson. So, I think I'm gonna keep that snake. 
I do have another hold back um, that I want. There's a couple, um, but uh, you know, we're we're not. I'm not guaranteeing anything until I can get them to eat. You know. Um, so, but again, I just wanted to show you guys the babies. Um, I hope you enjoyed them. They. Uh, it means the world to me that people have reached out for me for these animals specifically because of the work I put into it. So that being said, um, again, I apologize for the lack of momentum and me, me being a part of the, my own channel. Um, I do promise that that will change because there's a lot of things I want to revisit. You know, um, there's snakes you guys haven't seen in forever that are, are that are huge, you know. Um, there's just so much going on. Oh, while we're on the topic, you may notice how these racks, besides this little holding rack, are all empty. And you may notice this box. Well, what that is is because of this. Mama laid, the orange heads laid, man. Well, the, not plural, one of them, the female. <laughs> the female laid 18 beautiful babies. And actually, as this video is being made, this morning was day 60 and I saw the first cut from an egg tube. So, side note though, while we're on that, that doesn't mean you can just go chop the fucking eggs tops off. Blood pythons don't work like ball pythons. Look, don't do that. So, shout out to the homie Zach at Zach Green Reptiles for the hookup on my new Herpstat 2 because we are going to run this motherfucker to those motherfuckers and put some Sumatran short tails in them because there's 18 babies coming. Um, and I will say, I will probably hold back a lot of them because as it, if everybody knows, you know, um, um, maybe not everybody, but the good portion of people know what I would like to do in the future with orange sheds and how much I believe in them. So, yeah. Um, thank, thank, thanks so much, Zach, for that because, you know, he completely and totally, as always, Zach, take, Zach just totally takes care of me, so I try to take care of him as well. Um, something else I wanted to share was, uh, you know, I have a, uh, fairly decent relationship with, um, well, Tracy Barker, um, we've done some business in the past and she's helped me out tremendously, um, IDing some animals out of bees clutch to, you know, helping me with sexing them. Which that's another story that we will probably tell you about uh, later. Zach made Zach made me earn my stripes pretty quickly. So what this is is um, I have never really probed an animal. I always just learned how to pop them. Um, and Miss Barker asked me if I even had a probe set, and I said no. And lo and behold, she said, we have to fix that. So my first probe set ever came from Tracy. So thank you, Miss Barker. I hope I didn't cuss too much in this video. I'm sure I did, but very thankful for this. So don't think that I will be using them without someone that knows how to do it watching me. Um, because the last thing I want to do is mess something up, but thank you so much. Uh, you know, thank everybody so much, man. Hope, hope we're going to, we're going to do so much more. Like I said, we're going to do so much more. We're going to revisit some videos. Um, we're going to revisit the Sumatran, uh, the orange head, the Sumatran short tail, all that, because there's totally different animals here now that will stay here because of my knowledge I've gotten since that video. There's so many videos that we're gonna go back and show you. Um, 
because you know in quarantine it was really easy to make videos now back at work as much as I'm working uh, the load of the animals that came in as babies that are bigger now I mean there's just a lot more going on and as you can hear the kids are out there screaming and yelling and everything else so sometimes it ain't easy being cheesy you know what I mean uh, but dad's gotta keep going <laughs> we can't stop um, so you guys thank you so much for sticking around everybody I appreciate you so much man everybody that bought an animal thank you you know um, you guys continue to show me amazing support and that's why I'm up off my ass doing this you know because I mean you you deserve it so all right y'all I'm out man I gotta take some animals to FedEx to PMA you guys Have